Hyundai had an amazing 2022, and in 2023, it's looking to expand over 10%, knocking on the doors of Toyota. <laughs> Over at the Hyundai newsroom, Hyundai Motor reports 2022 global sales and 2023 goals. If you're excited to see where Hyundai goes from here, hit the like button and subscribe for industry auto news. I talk about Hyundai all the time on the channel, as well as their biggest rivals from Japan. Uh, they've already passed Honda. They've already passed Nissan in terms of global annual sales, and there's only two players in front of them at this point in time. There's Volkswagen, and then there's good old Toyota and they want to be number one one day. Can they do it? Can they make some room in 2023? Today, we're gonna to talk about their plan. Hyundai's sales in 2022 were up 1.4%, 3.94 million units. In December, they sold nearly 350,000 units, which is a 4% increase year over year. And the company is targeting more than 4.32 million global vehicle sales in 2023. And you can say, well, Toyota sells around nine to 10 million per year, but that's just Hyundai and Genesis. If we go to Kia's global page, they're planning to sell 3.2 million. So that's over seven and a half million global units in 2023. They mentioned the Ionic 5 and Ionic 6, which Ionic 6 is only available in Korea, as far as I'm aware at this point in time. Those two vehicles have recorded over 100,000 sales in 2022. And Hyundai plans to expand market share and operate profitability oriented businesses by flexibly responding to market changes. They've already weathered that extremely well uh, in 2020, 2021 by handling their supply chain pretty much better than anyone. And they're accelerating its transition to electrification, responding to global environmental regulations and optimizing production logistics and sales by region. And that sort of optimization, I believe they're ahead of the Japanese automakers. It hasn't been until recently news has been breaking out of Asia, mainly Japan, talking about how they're reworking their supply chain to protect themselves from the uncertainties essentially of China. And I think the Koreans are definitely two steps ahead. They also mentioned we have to look forward to in 2023, the all new Kona, which is gonna be an EV, a hybrid. They'll have an N line, they'll have a gas model and fingers crossed that they come out with another Kona N, but I, I doubt it will happen. We'll also see a new Santa Fe, which we're seeing spy shots of it being boxier, almost like a Land Rover Defender sort of outline, which is gonna be great. And it wouldn't surprise me, it takes the same general design as they Ionic 7 three row crossover. I don't think that'll be out until 2024, but its sister vehicle, the Kia EV9 will be out in 2023. And I got news on that vehicle. So stay tuned after this. And also we'll have the Ionic 5 come out in 2023, the company's first high performance EV. And more details will be unveiled in the coming months. So probably first uh, quarter, I would say of 2023. So as we look at the sales here, the Korean sales are surprisingly bad. They have gone up in the month of December over 6%. But if you look at the total year, they're still down over 5%. Overseas sales, though, has been keeping them growing 3.4% for the month of December and 2.9% for the total year. So their global sales for December up 4% and for the year up 1.4% selling nearly 4 million vehicles. And like I said, that is just Hyundai and Genesis alone. Looking at the Kia sales, comparing this December versus last December, they're up in Korea nearly 6%. Overseas is growing massively 16%. Now you could say, Kirk, they're kind of down compared to November 22, but let's look at the big picture here. Korean sales total for 2022 is up 1.1%, overseas up 5.4%, so overall 4.6% up for Kia. Meanwhile, at the end of 2022, Hyundai celebrated its 15 millionth vehicle sold in North America. Looking down memory lane to how they've achieved this or just some of the milestones along the way. 1986, look at this cute first vehicle, the Hyundai Excel three-door hatchback looking thing in 1989. The year I was born, man, does this look like a Corolla slash Camry. It launches the longest selling model to date, the Sonata. And there's rumors that the Sonata be, could be meeting its end. In 1998, they offer America's best warranty, launches the fourth generation Sonata. 2005 Hyundai Motor Manufacturing Plant opens and starts production. They're also going to be starting production of its first Genesis model, which I believe started at the end of 2022. In 2007, they're launching some nonprofits. 2009, 
Hyundai's first premium car, Genesis, wins North American Car of the Year, and the Hyundai Assurance Program is introduced. 2011, Hyundai celebrates 25 years in the U.S. and introduces the Veloster. Rest in peace, Veloster. 2012, Elantra wins North American Car of the Year. 2015, Hyundai achieves 10 million sales in the U.S. and launches first ever Sonata plug-in hybrid. I didn't even know there was a Sonata plug-in hybrid. That is outrageous. 2018, Kona fully electric SUV joins the Hyundai lineup and wins North American Car of the Year. 2020 reveals seventh generation Elantra and first ever Elantra hybrid. Still haven't driven the Elantra hybrid. I'd love to drive it to compare it to like the Corolla hybrid, for example. And 2021 unveils the highly anticipated Ionic 5 and Santa Cruz sport adventure vehicle. And in 2022, Ionic 5 wins car of the year, debuts Ionic 6, and announces its electric vehicle and battery manufacturing facilities. They're investing massively in North America to build EVs here stateside. Pretty much everywhere outside of Korea, people pronounce Hyundai incorrectly. Hyundai is not how they say it over in Korea. And of course, in America, we think the Brits say things funny. So let's play this new commercial just happened eight days ago. Search Hyundai. You have arrived at your destination. Hyundai. If you think you know our cars and how to say our name, maybe it's time to think again. Hyundai, not Highland I. Oh, it's Hyundai, by the way. Hyundai. Search Hyundai. It's the dawn of a new Hyundai. Hyundai is more uh, correct, but Hyundai taught us over a decade ago in America that it's pronounced Hyundai like Sunday. Shut up. Hyundai Genesis, North America Car of the Year. Win one little award, and suddenly everyone gets your name right. It's Hyundai, like Sunday. So that's what stuck. That is what's in stone, at least here in America. And Great Britain will continue to say it differently than how we say it. Go figure. And Hyundai Motor Kia vouch release level three autonomous driving technology within the year. This is pretty badass. There are not that many level threes out there. The new G90, which I just reviewed for Genesis, and Kia's EV9 will come with a feature called Highway Driving Pilot allowing level three self-driving. Level three cars will be able to steer and accelerate on their own, but requires driver monitoring. Uh, level five is full autonomy. Level one is the lowest. And they're expecting a bigger share in the global EV market, thanks to this new uh, driving autonomous software. But even though Hyundai plans to sell 10% more vehicles in 2023, there are still hurdles. COVID-19 pandemic, rising interest rates and prices of vehicles, volatile exchange rates, and geopolitical risks such as the war in Eastern Europe. So I'm going to end it there. Do you think Hyundai can sell 10% more vehicles in 2023, inching closer to Volkswagen and Toyota? I think, man, their electric vehicles are arguably the best in the industry, at least the ones I've tested. I haven't driven a whole lot of Teslas recently, but their shine is starting to wear off as more competition hits the market. But I'll see you guys down below. It's fun to talk about the massive growth and improvement in Hyundai, Kia, and Genesis products. Make sure to check out all my Ion 5, EV6, G90, GV60 reviews, and all their gasoline products as well. I'll catch you in the next one. Stay tuned because I will update you as Hyundai continues to expand. Have a great day. Have a great start to your new year and peace out.